one of the most popular tapes of late brass, mainly because of the performer of the main role Yuya Mayarchuk, which the camera of the permanent operator of Tindo Films Massimo Di Venenzo shows from all possible angles. Plus, in breaking the rules, brass again raised the level of frankness a little. If you look at the film, you can see that the drama is becoming easier. I met Julia in Naples. She worked at a pizza place. She lived in Italy for a year. And very, very pretty. The film is called Transgreed Ire. In literal translation, violate, that is, to violate the norms, especially sexual. In the Russian version, it was released under the title Violating the Prohibitions. This is the story of a guy and a girl who often lies to her lover. But I perceive women's lies as a positive factor. If there is no deception, the relationship cannot last long. The fact is that if a man knows every inch of a woman's skin, it all ends. And when a man reveals that a woman he seems to know well has a secret, it excites him even more, awakens his libido. Bouts of jealousy only revive desire. The artist was born in 1977 in the Ukrainian SSR. Yulia's date of birth is April 20. Soon after graduating from the school and reaching adulthood, a girl who wanted to become famous decides to move abroad. In the mid-90s, she left for Italy and settled in Naples to earn a living. She gets a job as a waitress in a cafe. The case when it is easier to find a photo without clothes than in it. My Archuk was educated at the Neapolitan Academy of Performing Arts. At the age of 22, she starred in two short films in the series Notes of Tinto Brass. We are talking about the film's vicious relationships and sweet dream. A year later, she made her feature film debut. In the 2000 erotic melodrama Breaking the Rules, an aspiring actress gets the main role. Her character Carla Boron, who is in conflict with her boyfriend, is cheating on a young man out of revenge with a friend, and then with her husband. In the future, the deception is revealed. In the year of his debut, Mai Archiuk's filmography is supplemented by a second work in full measure, a supporting role in the comedy The Face of Picasso. She also manages to gain a foothold on television. On one of the Italian channels starts a crime series team about the work of a fictional police station. Julia appears in several seasons of the show, playing a prostitute who gets over the past and eventually becomes the wife of one of the policemen. The press attributed Julia's affair with Tinto Brass, but the actress did not officially comment on these rumors. In Zero met with the actor Gerard Butler. He met Maya Archiuk at an Italian film festival. The couple separated a few months later. The height of the actress is 170 centimeters, but the weight changes periodically. Julia is a follower of healthy eating, yoga and an active lifestyle. So she tries to keep track of her figure. Proof of this can be found in the actress's Instagram. My Archiuk fills the account with photos from vacations, walks, trips and meetings with numerous friends. In 2018, Yulia starred in a short film with a mystical plot she. The film is directed by Roberto Bontepolito. His most famous film remains the thriller Genara. The plot of the film, released in 2015, was based on the legend of a burned witch who cursed a provincial town. A new short film created by a fan of mysticism was presented at the festival Napoli Cultural Classic. The premiere was more than successful. The film received awards in the categories Best Director, Best Soundtrack and Best Actress. The statuette in the last category was received by Yulia Mayerchuk, 